A lot of locals wanting to avoid the masses at DIA, opting for the smaller crowds mm -hmm. at the Colorado Springs Airport. Only repairs from that roof fire last April, which caused a whole lot of water damage as firefighters were putting it out, and from sprinklers, well, not quite complete. Bill Folsom back from the airport looking into what it means for travelers. So what you find out, Bill? Well, airport managers say, like every year, give yourself some pad, but that has to deal with the extra people. Any construction is either out of the path of passengers, finish type work, or will be put on hold during the busiest hours at the airport. Heading into the busy holiday travel season and Colorado Springs Airport is still busy with the rebuild from an accidental fire last April caused by an electrical problem on the roof. Every day there's a little bit more of an improvement. More than a line, before and after shots give perspective on the progress. Partitions and scaffolding coming down, opening spaces and making way for finish work and people. What you're seeing a lot now is the completion of the fire construction, moving into modernization. Some updates like seating areas and food kiosks are available to travelers. The United Ticket Counter, where the fire caused some of the worst damage, is back. The airport on the way to its new normal but not quite there. A lot of that impactful construction, we're gonna move to the more evening, so then there will be no impact on passengers. Hard hats, hammers, and other heavy lifting, making way for the holiday. Right now, like as we go into the busy season, our passengers are number one, so making sure that they can easily come through all of our, the access points, get through security, and get to their planes. Because Colorado Springs Airport size navigating the construction, it is not hard. Just in case, signs are up and there will be hosts in red vests to offer some guidance if needed. The travel season, well, that starts this Saturday. Rob?